Severe weather can destroy a home in seconds. There's no time to think, only time to act. Have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes and stay informed during severe weather any way you can. It can be the difference between losing your possessions and losing your life. Just ask the owners of this house. Visit ready.gov for ways to prepare your family for emergencies. From Fairfield Christian Academy in Lancaster, Ohio, it's FCA basketball on LSN. Good evening, everybody, along with Jared Camp. This is Jack Davidson here courtside at Fairfield Christian Academy for what is known as the foundation game. Jared, what is the foundation game? Well, uh, the foundation team uh, game, excuse me, um, the teams come together. Uh, it's just a regular scrimmage, preseason game. But uh, admission was taken at the door, uh, and all the uh, proceeds will go to the Echoing Hills Camp, uh, Camp for disabil Disabilities. Um, that was a camp that FCA, the uh, juniors and sophomores, go to every year. Uh, that was set up by Mrs. Ellen, Ra Ellen Ratliff, the uh, sixth grade teacher. She had a disabled child who passed away about 15 years ago. And Echoing Hills is just her passion. She loves it with all of her heart. And it's just a great uh, experience for the students to go out and uh, help around the camp. So all the proceeds will go to Echoing Hills. And tonight, uh, our matchup is the Amanda Clear, Clear, Clear Creek Aces, coached by Tim Lice, former coach here at FCA, against Fairfield Christian, coached by Roger Hooper. Last year, Amanda was 5-15, and 15, Fairfield Christian 17-5, and 5, district semifinalists. Starting lineups tonight, Alan Andricks, Aaron Thress, Austin Smith, Rob Cremines, and Andrew Otto for Amanda. It's Justin Patashna, Caden Welch, Jordan Brake, Stephen Carpenter, and Nick Spurgis. Eight minutes on the clock. A scrimmage, but they're playing game-like conditions. Ball's in the air, and we're underway at FCA. Smith with the basketball. FCA in a man-to-man -man defense. And it looks like they'll be FCA basketball. Thress lost the ball off his hands, and so break will inbounds to Carpenter. First possession for this FCA. Is, it's uh, Jordan Brake's first varsity start. He's a sophomore for the Knights. Now Jordan played a lot last year, JV, and mm -hmm. he was the point guard on that team and, and did rather well. Yeah, uh, shared time with uh, Tony Welch as he j jacks up a three. No good, but rebounded by Stephen Carpenter. And rebound by Patochnik. Nope, but we got a foul and on Alan Andricks, I believe. Andricks is a football player for Amanda Clear Creek. He played a wide out at 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and oh, he could go up and get the football. Tachnik line left, shooting two, misses the first. They now the JV runs the same offense as the varsity, so I believe, right? Mm -hmm. So Jordan should step in, do a nice job. Tachnik gets the first points of the night for FCA, and it's 1-0. FCA with 7-10 to go. Uh, FCA first will court. go in the uh, full court pressure. It's Carpenter and Brake. Smith. And inside, inside, and good defense by Patochnik, but you know that pass inside should not be made. Thrust went up with the basketball, knocked out of his hands, and will be Amanda's ball. Smith doing the inbounds. Andricks, rebound, Thress, long three, good by Andrew Otto. His first three, and it's 3-1. Amanda, 6.40 to go. First quarter here at FCA. FCA should be in rather good shape. Three of the basketball players are former football players that we covered. There's Carpenter with a three. And Carpenter good defense by Carpenter. Break. Carpenter on the follow. 
Carpenter with five points on the night. And, and great defense by Stevens. Looks like a foul on break. One thing about Jordan Brake, he's like a water bug out there, isn't he? He was <laughs> yeah. like that in football, too, wasn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah. He played a quarterback for the JV in football this year. Saw some varsity time. And there's Spurgis. Great feed by Brake. Rebound to Cremines. Smith has it. Three ball good by Andrew Otto. He's got six, two three balls on the night. 5.40 to go. Score tied at six. And Coach Hooper takes his first timeout of the night. Five timeouts for each team. So, let's see, we'll have four for the rest of the game. I'd like to thank uh, Thompson Concrete for sponsoring the first quarter action of FCA on LSN. Thompson Concrete, a full service company offering commercial, residential, decorative, ex excavation and foundation services with the ability to handle every detail of large complex concrete projects. They are located in Carroll, Ohio and can be reached at 740-756-7256 or online at thompsonconcrete.com. Now say it with me, excavation. Ex excavation. See, I had problems. All the 10 games we did in football, excavation. I could not get that out. Excavation. Now I can say it now, but when it's pretty tough when you're reading a yeah, spot, it's isn't it? very true. Well, well, I got you all the media team, what you could do is you could change the uh, ad and say digging. How's yeah, that? Digging, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll call him after the game. Who are our officials tonight? Uh, the officials tonight, uh, Bill Andrews, Roger Oaks, Keith Tarpley, and Revis Dolan. And they're going to use four officials tonight and rotate. So this is a scrimmage for them as well. Looks like Carpenter will inbound right in front of our broadcast table. Same starting five for both teams. Coach Lice to our left, dressed in the uh, sweatpants and shirt. I was giving him a rough time before the game. I said, you could at least dress up. He said, well, <laughs> this is still a scrimmage. He's going to wear a suit and tie. Yeah, for he's the got rest all year the, to do that. Yeah, for the rest of the season. He's a good man. He, uh, Absolutely. He's a great coach here at FCA and uh, uh, gave it up to spend a little more time with his family. But now uh, he's, he's taught for years in the Amanda system, and I was able to talk to him during a, a football game we did together uh, about a month ago, and he knows a lot of the kids. The kids know him, so this is just going to be a great fit for him. Justin thought about taking that one, but decided not to. Carpenter works his way into the lane to Potochnik. Turnaround jumper, no. Rebound to Thress. Carpenter gets away with a bump. Thress inside, no good. Loose ball. Amanda Andricks, turnaround jumper, good. Pretty move by Ellen Andricks. He has two. Eight, six, Amanda. Inside, Potoshnik Potoshnik. inside. Rebound to Thress. I, I asked Coach Leist the, what kind of offense he's going to be running this year. Boy, I know all a, these plays. A, 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 a mix yeah. of what he's done. He's, he's not, not going to run exactly what he did at FCA. Yeah, that's right. Because um, Think about Hayden Welch is the only player that he had when Coach Lice was here, but you know it's nice to mix up things, you know. Tipped away by Carpenter. Inside the arc, no good. Andricks with the ball. Gives it to Smith. 
This could be a great battle tonight between Alan Andricks and uh, Justin Potochnik, two big men. Andricks with two points and Potochnik with none. But uh, it's been a great battle so far. Carpenter with his first foul, and we have Tony Welch coming in now for FCA's at the scorer's table. That's the Knights' second team foul. First one by Smith is up and in. Brake sits down. Welch is in. Smith line right. Nice rotation on that shot. Austin Smith with two, and it's a 10-6 Amanda lead. These two teams may be seeing a lot of each other in the next few years mm -hmm. as Fairfield Christian is uh, tentatively uh, scheduled to go to the Mid-State League. I think the formal approval, Andrix lost his footing for a crowd. I think the formal approval is in December, isn't it? Uh, I yes, it I believe so. Uh, FCA will be in a, a conference with Millersport, Burn Union, I think Crooksville, Fisher Catholic, I Fisher believe. Catholic, uh, Harvest Prep, uh -huh. some of the smaller schools. And Amanda is a little larger school, but that does not mean that uh, FCA won't play them yeah. in, in basketball. Rebound to Thresk, gives it to Smith. Bump on Carpenter, his second. It's going to be the team's third, Carpenter's second. And of course, you know, going into the conference is going to be a, it's going to be a lot easier for, for Rob Bowler, the athletic director, just trying to schedule yeah. games. Uh -huh. Smith running layup, no good. Welch to his brother Hayden. That's Hayden's first two of the ball game. Ten eight. Otto for three. No good. Rebound Spurgis. Team looks a little different this year because last year they all shaved their heads for the Newark Catholic football game. <laughs> uh huh. Kind of different seeing the uh, football players out here with a head of hair. Tony Welch, Spurgis, Carpenter for three, no good. Rebound Smith. Andricks for three, nope. Rebound Hayden Welch. One forty-five to go, first quarter, 10-8. Amanda up by two. The foundation game here, scrimmage at FCA. Proceeds go to Echoing Hills. Camp for the disabled. Great hands there by my partner. That's why you get paid the big bucks. That's right. Of course, you know, we have security behind us uh, this year. Kids behind us. Who is behind us? I feel a lot better. We've got security behind us. They're going to be uh, running a... Uh, some of the game operations, I think. So I told them if they get security shirts, we could put them on TV. Nice spin move there by Thress, his first two. Hey, 12-8. Aces over the Knights. Welch for three. Hayden hits it. Hayden with five points. And if they run that play, that'll be open all night. Herpeter knocks it away. Aces ball inbounding in front of the FCA bench with 47.8 seconds to go. Andricks. The Smith, we got a foul. I think that's on uh, Tony Welch. Clayton Christopher coming to the scorer's table now. 
for Hayden Welch. I'm excited to see Clayton play. I played with him when he was a freshman, and he's an excellent ball handler. And he worked on his shot. And Andrich great. with a nice move there. Alan Andrich with four points. 14-11 the score with 30 seconds to go. Aces up by three. With Jared Kent, this is Jack Davidson. Courtside at FCA. Christopher with the ball. 10 seconds. Carpenter for three. Nope. Rebound loose. Tony Welch comes down with it. Inside to Spurgis, up and in, and that will do it for the first quarter of play. Timeout on the floor. Amanda leads Fairfield Christian 14-13 on FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740-687-1077. Well, with Jared Camp, Jack Davidson here courtside. You get a look at the Amanda bench. Coach Tim Lice, first year coach, Amanda Clear Creek. Former head coach here at FCA and also an assistant under Sky Brusco. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will meet for the first time in uh, early 2012. And, and we're going to try to. Be, uh, that should be a treat to see those oh yeah. two go up against what you see on LSN. Hopefully, going to try to cover that game. You know, just get a couple be, of the that'll old be fun. coaches. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. I believe Cody Brewer uh, in now for Amanda Clear Creek. Jamison Bennett is in as well as Jay Mathias. Dalton Heim in as well. And Potochnik has a uh, height advantage over Bennett. So we'll see if they try to exploit that. Carpenter for three, no good. Rebound, Austin Smith. Matthias with the ball. Sit out to Heim. Carpenter's gotta be careful, he's got two fouls. Driving the layup, no good. Spurgis with the rebound. Carpenter kicks it to Tony Welch. Rebound to Potochnik, foul. I believe it's on Jamison Bennett. Second quarter action of FCA on Nelson is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster's source for Penske truck rentals. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street in Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. Potochnik ties it up with his first three throw and hits a second as well. Justin with three, and it's a one-point lead for FCA as they look like they have a diamond trap. Cody Brewer. by Amanda to break the trap, but it's going to be FCA's ball. Brewer on the travel. We have Hayden Welch in and Tyler Stevens for FCA, along with Patochnik, Spurgis, and Carpenter. Patochnik, low block. Nope, and there's a foul on Jamison Bennett. It's going to be Jamison's second foul of the ball game. Like I said before, just get uh, Justin the ball and he'll use his height advantage over Jamison and the rest of the uh, interior defense and try to get some points on the board. Hits the Touch first one. Hits the first, he's got four points.
nice crowd here for the foundation game. Everybody's eager for basketball season. I know we're eager because oh, we've yeah. been on uh, every roof known to mankind during the football season. It's nice to be indoors for a change. There's a three ball, no good by Hine, and we got a foul underneath, and looks like Cody Brewer is the guilty party. He is. Brewer, second foul. 6-10 to go, first half. FCA with a two-point lead. Carpenter inside the arc hits it. Stephen Carpenter with seven. Brewer has nice the ball by intercepted Welch. by Hayden Welch to Carpenter. What a nice pass. Tyler Stevens. Nope. Brewer with a rebound. Smith. Driving layup, missed. Rebound to Potochnik. Spurgis, now Stevens will get it to Carpenter. Hayden Welch is fouled. No, it's going to be a traveling call. Um, I couldn't see it from where I was at, but that's why I'm on the referee. Saw a little contact there, but they, got, yep. they called Hayden for the walk. Turnover gives the ball back to Amanda Clear Creek. Amanda doing a nice job of working the ball around. Hine in the corner. Shot missed by Brewer. Rebound up, no good. Potochnik to Carpenter. Welch. Potochnik knocked away by Jay Mathias. Cremines with the basketball. Nice. Welch comes nice up with the loose ball. Ooh, nice. And they're going to wave it off charge on Hayden Welch. Great play there by Jay Mathias. And the official says no basket. This is a scrimmage for the officials <laughs> as well because Hayden got rid of that basketball before oh, yeah. the charge. So they wave the basket off. 18-14 now. Loose ball. And we have a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with FCA. Break coming in now. Jordan Brake coming in for yeah, Brakey. Brakey. Tyler Stevens will sit down. Ball knocked away. It'll stay down at the Amanda Clear Creek end. Four oh five remaining in the second quarter. Knights up 18-14 still. Ramines into the lane, kicks it out. Matthias with a long three. Gets on the board. Jay Matthias with his first three, and it's 18-17. One point lead for FCA. Carpenter works his way in, no good. Tipped, and looks like we might have a foul over the back. Nick Spurgis is the guilty party. That's Nick's first foul. Team sixth. Brewer will inbound. 
Knights going in the uh, full court diamond. Kameen to Matthias. Jamison Bennett to the hoop. No good. Brewer with a rebound. Up. No good. Rebound to Patachnik. Hayden Welch puts it up and in. Matthias tried to get the charge call to no avail. It's a timeout FCA. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get that one that time. Hayden. Seven points what was for necessary. Hayden Welch. 3.20 to go, 2017 FCA up by three. Just a reminder, second quarter action of FCA and LSN is brought to you by Fairfield Mini Storage. The uh, place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats and they are Lancaster source for Penske truck rentals. They can be reached on the web at ffministorage.com and they're located at 2230 East Main Street in Lancaster. Sure you don't want to do that excavation word again? Uh, pass. I was so glad in football when the first quarter was over. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Just making sure they're not on here again. <laughs> oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Oh, uh, well, we'll give them some props. They're going to be there the whole oh, season. Yeah. We want to thank our sponsors. Got great sponsors that allow us to bring this to you. And we have a full slate of games. We have some boys games and girls games mm -hmm. this year. Uh, I know uh, the boys team has really beefed up their schedule. I think they're playing Wellington. I know they're playing Zanesville Rosecrans again. I don't know if we're carrying those games. I don't know exactly yeah. what our, our broadcast schedule is right now. We're still working on it. But uh, you know, you've got the old standbys, too, in the MoCal, Trail Life, and Grove City Christian. So, oh, Grove City Christian is going over to the uh, Mid-State League as well. That's right. So that little rivalry that has uh, started in the uh, MoCal will continue on to the Mid-State League. Brewer inbounds to Himes and now Cremines. Breaks the pressure. Brewer with a block by Hayden Welch. <laughs> and the gym erupts. Cody Brewer, line right, shooting two. I didn't catch who that foul was on. I saw number three. It might have been Justin Patach. Justin? Okay. Brewer misses the first. Brewer hits the second. Cody Brewer with his first point of the night, and it's a 2018 score. FCA up by two. Welch loses his footing. Grameens to Bennett. Grameens. Matthias for a three. No good. Rebound Hayden Welch. And he's fouled. Dalton Heim is the guilty party. Sixteen foul. FCA will inbound underneath their own basket. Spurgis to Patochnik. Spurgis, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound to Cody Brewer. Knocked away by Hayden Welch, and Amanda will keep the ball down in the offensive end. Grameens drives baseline, gets it to Brewer. Matthias to Bennett, drives baseline, puts it up no good, rebound Spurgis. Foul on Hyde. That'll be his second. I think we'll see a lot of that this year. It's just uh, a, a quick outlet to Hayden or, you know, one, a Jordan break, one mm -hmm. of the other guards. 
because FCA has uh, height this year. They did last year, but it looks like uh, Nick and, and uh, Justin have grown a little bit. So it uh, looks like it, yeah. They've, they've gained some weight. They've been in the weight room. And hopefully the uh, Knights post presence will uh, well grow from last year. Good. Mulch with nine. Leads all scores, and we have a turnover. 22-18 the score, 201 to go first half. Just a little high to Justin Potochnik. One forty eight left on the clock, first half. Matthias crosses the timeline and he loses it's the ball out of bounds. Ball. You know, the NBA is locked out, but there can be plenty of great high school basketball in the area this year. I want to encourage the basketball fans uh, to get out and support your local team. There's always room here for you at FCA. They're going to have a good season this year. If the pass is any indication. Cremines. Matthias. Cremines. Spin move. Three pointer. No good. Rebound to Bennett. Heim, no good. Rebound to Potochnik, under a minute to go. Welch, bumped. Dalton Heim, get it's credit for that foul. Dalton's third foul. Both teams in the bonus. 53.2 seconds to go in the half. Now the officials realize it's a one and one situation. <laughs> Welch misses the first. 50 seconds to go, four point lead for FCA. Matthias works his way into the lane. Misses the shot. Potochnik with the rebound. Leading the break. Spurgis, spin move, loses it. And it'll be Amanda's ball with under 30 seconds to go. Brewer inbounds to Cremines. Heim to Cremines. They just break the press. Bennett up and in. Jameson Bennett with his first two. 13 seconds, two point lead for Amanda. So check that, two point lead for FCA. Still preseason for me too. Carpenter to break, three pointer, no good, tip no, and that's the end of the first half of play. Timeout on the floor. Your score, FCA 22, Amanda 20. This is FCA basketball on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... Fairfield Mini Storage is located on East Main Street in Lancaster. We'll find them online at ffministorage.com. In Focus Consulting, the data agency. Online at infocusconsulting.com. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. You can visit them online at redeemerlancaster.org. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Available online at funeralhome.com. 
for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Along with Jared Camp, Jack Davidson here courtside as both teams send their starters out. Possession arrow will go to FCA to start this second half. The officials finally arrive on the scene. A little different philosophy by both coaches. Coach uh, Hooper went with his uh, starters mainly for the first half, and Coach Leist uh, worked in uh, some other kids, a second unit, and they played rather well that first uh, mm -hmm. that they first did. half. Went toe to toe with them. Smith with the basketball, intercepted, almost intercepted by Potochnik. Russ misses, puts it up and in. Aaron Thress. That's with four points. Four points, that's right. And it's 22 all. Spurgis, Carpenter for three. No good, rebound Spurgis. Loose ball, Carpenter picks it up over and back. Give the ball back to Amanda. I know Coach Lice was just uh, thrilled to get the Amanda job and you know, it's be a building process for him. He's, looks like he's got some good basketball players oh, yeah. out he's here. He's definitely got the height on his side. You know, Amanda's just been a football community mm -hmm. for so long. They've um, you know emphasized football, and uh, he says he's got kids here now that um, you know they, they basketball is their main sport, not football. Press with a nice little turnaround. He's got six. Welch is the uh, leading scorer so far. Hayden Welch, the leading scorer for the uh, Knights with nine points as Coach Hooper wants a timeout. And that'll give us some time to thank our sponsors. Third quarter action of FCA on Ellison is brought to you in part by Ohio University Lancaster and Pickerington campuses where class sizes are small You'll get to know the faculty who cares about you and your success. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University, Lancaster, and Pickerton. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Now, have you made your decision where you're going to go to school next year? Uh, that, no. Now, can we pick a date where you can tell all, you know, everyone in Fairfield County? Am I going to have a national going? signing day? Or? Yeah, it'd be like a national announcement day okay. for you. That'd be great. And so you pick last the day. Of, last day of school, is that okay? No, no, no. I want to do it on air. I want to do it on air. I want you to have like a hat out here on okay. the table. And well, you pick the hat. That. I'll talk to and JT. And we'll get Jeremy or JT to, to cover it. It'd be I'll, wonderful. I'll, t I'll take my talents to <laughs> South Beach. South Beach, huh? What school is down at South Beach? <laughs> LeBron James University. <laughs> what else? <laughs> hmm. I think I have it narrowed down to a couple places, but you know, it's a lot harder to decide. Yes, it is. Oh, just starting to figure that out. Well, I'm praying for you, brother, because it is a tough decision. It really is, because you want to find a fit not only with the faculty but with the student body and what you're going to be majoring in. It's a big decision. Turnover gives the ball to Amanda. We've got Jordan Brake coming in now for Tony. Tony, Tony Welch. Welch. 
I took a trip down to Huntington, West Virginia, to Marshall University, and they have a uh, in their communications department they have a sports journalism major, and it's something I'm really looking into. I mean, they have the uh, Jim Nance Sportscaster of the Year down at Marshall. Got a foul on Patochnik, I believe. Thress will go to the line, shooting two. Thress with six points. So Marshall's in the mix. Any other schools? Marshall, uh, Toledo. And you're looking at sports journalism? Um, that's kind of one of those majors that either you have it or you don't. Like, Thress. it's more it's more of a in the communications department. Okay. Um. And then Kent State, Toledo, those are both in the mix. So, Thrust yeah. was seven. We'll be interesting where you're going to go next year. I like the hat idea, though. We'll have to do that. Hayden drives the lane, loses it. Otto loses it to Spurgis. Welch takes the and bump, one. puts it in. Welch with 11. Looking for 12 at the line. Three-point play the old-fashioned way for Hayden Welch. You know, looking, looking back at Hayden Welch, you know, I played with him as a freshman all the way. Now he's a senior, and just his leadership skills have developed so, so well. It's great to see him become the leader that he can be. Welch with a three-point play the old-fashioned way. 12 points for Hayden, leads all scores. Otto for three, good. Andrew Otto with three three-pointers on the night, and it's a 28-25 lead for Amanda. Carpenter, Patochnik, the Carpenter. Three ball, good. Carpenter with 10. Otto fakes the three. Smith inside the thrust, puts it up and in, and a foul. Aaron Thress with nine, looking for 10 at the line. Justin Patochnik with the foul. And you got Sam Faturo coming in now for that's Justin Patochnik. That's a Bobby Faturo, actually. Bobby, I thought Sam was going in the second half. Is that Sam? That's Bobby. That's Bobby. Uh -huh. I'm so conflicted now. Put back up and in by Alan Andrix. He's got six. So Bobby Faturo in now. Ball knocked away. Spurgis has it. He's got to get rid of it. That was a bit of double dribble. Carpenter. Jump shot no good. Rebound to Smith. And we got the second team coming in for Amanda to give the first teamers a break. Nice diving play there by for means, but the ball goes out of bounds. Now we got Matthias in, Brewer, Bennett, and Heim for Amanda. Paturo sits, Patachna comes in. So Austin Smith is the only starter out there now for Amanda. They're up by four. Carpenter on the pick and roll to Spurgis, puts it up and in off the backboard. Nick Spurgis with four. Ball knocked away. Welch picks it up. Nice pass, pass. to Spurgis, and that's out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Amanda.
break doing the inbounds honors. Well, I tell you, there's a lot of students here tonight for FCA. Yep. Underneath the stands underneath the backboard are just about filled. Yeah. Ever since football ended, it's a been basketball mania. Now you're out of school tomorrow, correct? Off school, yeah. Off school tomorrow, so you got a nice uh, five-day weekend. Mm -hmm. Five. Good for you. Thank Natasha you. Klein, right, shooting two. This is the first. Most schools go till Wednesday, but you know we'll take the five days. Yeah, absolutely. Potochnik splits the pair. Justin's got five. Time, bounce pass to Bennett for a three. Jamison Bennett with five. 35-31 with just over three minutes to play here, third quarter. Burgess to Carpenter. Welch. Nope. Rebound. That's off of FCA. Amanda will inbound. <clears throat> Bennett will inbound to Smith with 2.55 to go here in the third quarter. Smith, no rebound to Spurgis. Outlet to Welch. Up and in, and a foul. That's what Hayden, Hayden Welch brings to the table. I mean, able to get contact and then uh, able to hit the shot in midair. Fouls on Dalton Heim. It's his fourth. It'll be the third team foul. Welch, line right, looking for the three-point play, the old-fashioned way, and he's got it for 15. 15. I'd like to thank our other uh, sponsors for this uh, FCA game. We have uh, Central Ohio General Surgeons. They're physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. They can be contacted at 740-654-6213 or online at centralohiogeneralsurgeons.com. Follows on break, three-pointer no good, rebound by break. Carpenter. Double team break for three. Good. Jordan's first three of the night. FCA trying to step up the pressure. Knocked out of bounds by Potochnik and it'll be Amanda's ball with 2.05 to go. 37-35 FCA up by two. Heim. The Bennett bounce pass off of Potoshnik's knee out of bounds. 1.59 to go for third quarter. After this Thanksgiving break, both teams start off the high school basketball season next weekend. Bennett smartly lets the ball hit in the backcourt. Smith. Nice save there, Heim for three, no good. Rebound loose. Hayden Welch comes down with it to Carpenter. Break for three, no good. Rebound, Spurgis knocks it out to Smith. Matthias for three, no good. Rebound to Potochnik. FCA running. Burgess and a nice assist by Welch. Six for Nick on the night. Ball and out of bounds. That's FCA ball. FCA's ball. 
1.14 to go, third quarter. Christopher coming in. Welch sitting down. Carpenter between the circles to break. Carpenter, good. Steven with 12 on the night. Full court. Pressed by FCA. Matthias. Heim for three. No good rebound. Loose. Brewer has it blocked out of bounds and will be Amanda's ball with 39.8 to go, third quarter. See, FCA, they just tried to trap. Get the ball in the open court there and just try to trap, and they'll, they'll trap you to death. Heim, Bennett, Smith between the circles, 33 seconds and counting. They'll try to wait until the last shot. Nearly got away with the, the trail yeah, there. I'd say so. Matthias. Bennett. 15 seconds and counting. Smith. This is way in the lane. Nice driving layup by Smith off the backboard. Five seconds and counting. Knights four, are trying to four put this one up. Smith. Foul on Brewer. With .8 seconds to go. Before the shot, so it'll be FCA's basketball out of bounds. Patashnik, turnaround jumper, no good. After three, it is FCA 41, Amanda 37. This is FCA basketball on LSN. FCA. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster and Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices. Online at weaver-law.com. Fairfield Christian Church, located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster, online at fairfieldcc.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Back here at FCA and LSN. Amanda down to Fairfield Christian by a score of 41-37. The foundation game, a scrimmage before the regular season starts next week. Well, with Jared Camp, this is Jack Davidson. Courtside, as Amanda will have the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Cremines, Andrix, Otto, Brewer, and Thress for Amanda be Christopher Carpenter, Patochnik, Spurgis, and Hayden Welch for FCA. Like a 2-3 zone for FCA. Brewer, no good Thress with a rebound up and in. Aaron Thress with 11. Thress has played a good game tonight. Mm -hmm. Three ball, no good, rebound, tipped. Amanda with the ball. Cremines splits the defense out to Andrix. Back to Cremines. Goes inside to Thress, up and in. Thress with 13. And timeout, FCA. Score tied at 41 with 7.13 to go in the ball game. We've got Tony Welch getting ready to check in for FCA. 
Fourth quarter action of FCA on Ellison is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage with RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster source for Penske truck rentals. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street in Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. And also, the uh, FCA Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Ohio Christian University, committed to offering a complete education that develops students intellectually, professionally, and spiritually. OCU's degree programs equip students to become leaders in their careers, communities, families, and in the world. Ohio Christian University can be found online at ohiochristian.edu. Leading scores for Amanda. Aaron Thress has 13, Andrew Otto with 9 for FCA, Hayden Welch with 15, Stephen Carpenter with 12. Fourth quarter of action, 7.13 to go in the ball game. FCA's ball, Carpenter inbounds to Tony Welch. Carpenter to Spurgis, to Tony Welch. Looks like Amanda has switched up their defense, going to a zone now. Potochnik for three, no good. Rebound Hayden Welch, dices to the board, no good. Rebound, Thress. And that was Justin's first at attempt of the night. Blocked Has by Carpenter, blocked Brewer by on Carpenter. the return. Cody Brewer with his first two. 43-41, Amanda up by two. Now we see a 1-3-1 zone defense. The ball goes out of bounds and it will be FCA's ball. Amanda's showing FCA some different looks here. Aaron Thress is the uh, big part of this comeback by Amanda. He is. 13 points oh, as well as his shot is offline. And we got a foul on Andrew Otto. <laughs> FCA will inbound in front of their own bench. Now we're looking at a 2-3 zone. Yeah. Carpenter for three. No good. Rebound. Potochnik up. No good. Rebound. Thress. You're right, Jared. Thress has played a real good ball game. Otto for three. Good. Andrew Otto with 12. Four three-pointers. Austin Smith. About ready to come back into the ball game. Tony Welch to Stephen Carpenter. Three ball, no good. Rebound, Spurgis, foul on the court. And it should be on Otto. Maybe it's on Cody Brewer. Got Cody Brewer coming out. Austin Smith replaces Brewer. Tony Welch will inbound. Both teams now in the bonus. Patochnik in the corner. Spurgis to Carpenter. Short. Off of Carpenter out of bounds. It'll be Amanda's ball with 5.30 to go in the game. Amanda leads by five. They've acquitted themselves quite well tonight. Mm -hmm. And they're using their size and Alan Andricks and Aaron Threats in order to get points in the paint. Ball goes off Patashnika bounds. And it's 1-3-1 that Coach uh, Lice is throwing at FCA when you got Alan Andricks is like a 6-8 mm -hmm. player playing the point. That, yeah. that causes you some problems. It's a different look for F that FCA is going up against. And, and that's good for him. Smith 
Nope. Rebound. Andrew Otto with 14. And we got delay of game warning on Amanda Clear Creek. The next one will be a technical. 48-41. FCA takes a timeout. 5-10 to go. Amanda leads by seven. Also, this FCA game of the week is brought to you in part by Spires Paving Company, serving Lancaster and Fairfield County since 1984. They are a full-service pavement and pavement services company providing asphalt paving, patching and repairing, crack filling and stripping for residential, commercial churches and local municipalities. Spires Paving Company can be contacted at 740-653-6837 or online at spirespaving.com. You know, excavation and municipalities, that's... There you go. I'll See, work it's on something it. you can spend your whole Thanksgiving break working on is pronouncing municipalities and excavation. <laughs> that's why when I'm preaching a sermon, I don't use municipalities or excavation. Oh, okay, that's smart. And also, I use, I use simple words okay. that even I can pronounce. Also, this FCA Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Doctors Whistler, Myers, and Callies. Our highly skilled and friendly team of dentists are dedicated to providing the highest quality dental care while helping patients achieve and maintain optimal dental health. Whistler, Myers, and Callies, a proud supporter of the FCA Knights. They can be contacted at 740 Seven seven five zero eight zero eight, or online at mysmilematters.com. FCA breaks the press. Break to Hayden Welch. Back to break. Stolen by Thress. For means, tries to pass it on a break to Andrix, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Amanda's ball in front of our broadcast position. Smith. Grameen's no good. Andrick's over the back. Didn't touch anybody, so mm -hmm. that's legal. That's right. Nice. Andrick's with to the backboard eight. by Andrick. He's got eight. That's right. Great defense being put on by the Aces. Carpenter, the break. Hayden Welch, cross court. Good ball movement. Spurgis works it inside, blocked. Knocked away, Carpenter comes down with the ball. Carpenter loses it to Cremains. Cremains. Carpenter, Kotchnik out of bounds. That's Amanda's ball. So after the Potochnik touched it out of bounds, it will be Amanda's ball under their own basket. Dress with the ball. Shoots no good. Not, nice box out by Carpenter. Break down to Welch. Nice body control by Hayden Welch. 17 for Hayden. 50 to 43. Seven point Amanda lead with under three and a half to go. And we got a whistle. And stepped out of bounds, I believe. The turnover gives the ball back to FCA. Carpenter. 320 to go. Knights need to definitely need to get something on this offense possession down 43-50. Carpenter for three, no good, rebound. That's Smith. Good defense Drive by Bray. To the lane, no good, Thress puts it up and in. Thress with 15. 
Carpenter to break. Potochnik. Nice need to slow things down, but need to score a lot in a little amount of time as Welch gets fouled. Should be on Aaron Thress. Two shots for Hayden Welch. And that puts the, uh, that's a Knights are in the bonus now. First one up and good. 18 for the senior. FCA with one timeout left. Make it 19. And there's the timeout. FCA with a timeout with 2.43 to go in the ball game. They're down by a score of 52-45. FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by NFocus Consulting, the data, data agency positioning and managing data in the marketplace. NFocus Consulting provides data management from Lancaster, Ohio, and can be reached at 740-654-5809 or online at nfocusconsulting.com. And if you were wondering, this game is available on demand and can be watched again at your convenience at fairfieldmedia.tv. That's fairfieldmedia.tv. Amanda Ear inbounds. Andrix will get the ball. Gets it to Otto, to Smith. The 2-2-1 two, two, trap now by FCA. That's a great job for me. I just break in that first press. two points of the night. And you're right, Jerry. That was a great job of breaking the press. Rob Cremines with his first two. A big bucket with 2.20 to go in the game. Nine-point lead for Amanda Clear Creek. Burgess to Carpenter. Potochnik blocked. Carpenter. Welch. Loses it now. Loose on the floor. Amanda comes up with the ball. And we got no call there. Potochnik down to Welch. And that's what a good right receiver will do. <laughs> Bring the ball down, get in a position. 21 for Hayden Welch. He leads all scores. And that is Amanda's first timeout. 138 to go, 54-47. Amanda leads by seven over FCA. Fourth quarter action of FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster's source for Penske truck rentals. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street, Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. I think I got that one down. 138 to go in the ball game. 54-47. FCA up or down by seven. Amanda looks good, don't they? Oh, yes. They started out kind of slow and sluggish, but Coach Light's team has really brought it back under the leadership of Aaron Thress and Alan Andrix, Andrew Otto. And we have a... Looks like he stepped out of bounds. Whistle, but the FCA's ball. Okay. Official pointed to himself as if he blew the whistle early. Uh huh. Yeah, I would say if you're an Amanda fan, you gotta be pleased with this uh, showing. Mm -hmm. They're coming off a five and fifteen record last year, but and this is a good FCA basketball team. So Amanda looking very well. Break good. Break with five. Five for the sophomore. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Amanda's ball, 104 to go. Well, FCA hasn't played uh, as well as we've seen them play. Mm -hmm. 
It's a good position for them to be in, down by five in a, in a game that doesn't mean anything. That's right. You can uh, try some different things. Ball goes out of bounds off Carpenter. And this is good experience for FCA to be down and, and to try to tie the ball game to come back. So it's a good scrimmage for both teams. Worked out well. Proceeds go to Echoing Hills. Ball goes off of Matthias. Carpenter will take it to the hoop and lay it in. Carpenter with 14 on the night. Brewer only down by three. 50 seconds and counting. Remains is oh, taken I think out. Get Carpenter with a foul. By break. Yeah, it's going to be on Jordan. A good football play by Jordan. And, and timeout Amanda with 48 and a half seconds to go in the game, and it's a 54-51 lead uh, for this Amanda. May, this may be just a scrimmage, but it has the feel of a, a real game. I mean, you're right. Down three with 48 seconds. This is a great learning opportunity for uh, Coach Hooper and the Knights. I mean, right, Jared, th this is what I think the coaches and, and, and um, the people who thought about this found gate foundation game wanted to do, is they wanted mm -hmm. to create a, a real live experience, an in-game experience for the teams so they have one under their belt in game-like conditions. you got the referees, you got the fans here. Uh, it does feel like a real game, although it doesn't count in the standings. It's a good last tune-up for both teams heading into the regular season. <coughs> Brewer will inbound. Brewer, Jamison, Matthias, Heim, and Smith. Now the FCA student section comes alive. Amanda with the basketball. Smith loses it. Tracks it down, out of bounds. FCA and ball. Be off Smith. With 39 seconds remaining, FCA down by three. And this is a good experience for Amanda to be ahead by three. You want to try to close out a game. Welch. Drake. Spurgis. I think they're looking for Carpenter. 25 Drake and counting inside. inside the and we got a foul on the floor. Cody Brewer is the guilty party. Eighth team foul. Pekoshnik, line right, shooting the one and one. Eight team fouls for Amanda, four for FCA. So for FCA to stop the clock as Potashnik hits the first of the one and one, they're going to have to take three fouls to get in the bonus situation here. 22.3 seconds to go. Potashnik with six. FCA with no timeouts remaining. Amanda has four. Potashnik makes it a one-point game. Smith. Across the timeline, gets it to Matthias, inside to Brewer, up and in. FCA cannot stop the clock. Brewer with four, nine seconds. Three-pointer, Potochnik, no, rebound. Spurgis, no, foul. With 1.8 seconds to go, three-point lead for Amanda. Foul is on Cody Brewer. Spurgis shooting two, and that's five on Brewer. Alan Andrix comes in. Cody gets a nice round of applause. 1.8 seconds to go. Spurgis, one and one. First one up and good. Spurgis, seven points for Spurgis. Jameson, 
Spurgis up, no good, and we got a lane, okay, lane violation. violation. Yep. Um, FCA's F ball. FCA's ball. No, it's Amanda's nope, ball. No, Amanda's ball, okay. Lane violation on FCA, 56-54. Amanda just has to inbound this. Inbound to Carpenter, no good. Tip up and good. Count it, good. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna go overtime, but oh boy. Coach Leist is uh, talking to uh, Coach Hooper. And that is the ball game oh. tied at 56. <laughs> oh. Wow, a great what a game. show. What, what a, a game. great show by both teams. What an entertaining game. As FCA and Amanda tie it up, uh, they'll conclude this game 56 all. In the foundation game, what's your uh, what's your impressions of this oh, first man. time here at yep. the FCA? It's just a beautiful job by the Knights. Um, you know, they got down after a great showing by Alan Andrix and Aaron Thress here in the second half. But a great job to battle back. Great leadership by Potochnik and Welch and Carpenter to get their team back within uh, reach. And a good job by Potochnik to get that ball up as time expired. You know, not going to go into overtime because of the... Uh, you know, it's just a scrimmage, just a preseason game. But, you know, an overall impressive showing by both teams. I was very impressed with Amanda and how they played. You know, they came out rather sluggish, but, you know, they put it all together in the second half. You know, Coach Hooper's going to have his troops ready. He's a, Coach Hooper is one of the best coaches in Fairfield County. Oh, absolutely. And Amanda's in good hands with Coach Tim Lice. Absolutely. They, they are. They've got some good things Those to look forward two to. Two great, great coaches. So that's the ball game here as the score is... Tied at 56 after four quarters of play. Why don't you thank all the people that made this possible? I'd like to thank uh, Jeremy Hall on camera, Jesse Brake on camera, and then uh, Nathan Sharp also on camera, and uh, JT Burcham also on uh, Switcher, and Caleb Kanger on graphics. And that was Robin Bennett <laughs> saying hi to Jack and to all of her fans from uh, Jameson Played Well. So it's good to see you, Robin. Robin is a one-time parent of uh, FCA here, and uh, it's good to see you. Final score here, score tied at 56, Amanda Clear Creek and Fairfield Christian. For Jared Camp, this is Jack Davidson, thanking you for watching FCA basketball on LSN. FCA on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster and Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohioyou.edu. Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices. Online at weaver-law.com. Fairfield Christian Church, located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster, online at fairfieldcc.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Hey, how's it going? Sir, are you okay? What? Oh, this is probably nothing. I'm sure it'll go away. Go away? But, sir, that can't be good. No, it's cool. Really. Do you want a napkin or something? Everything's fine. Thanks. You wouldn't ignore this. So why ignore the signs of a stroke? At the first warning signs, call 911 immediately. Because time lost is brain lost. FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN.
Thanks for watching FCA on LSN.